Hi guys, my name's Alex Wright, if you don't already know, and I'm part of... No, that's just all garbage. Who am I? Hi guys, this is the first video in a series all about running a lifestyle business on Round 3 TV. The reason I'm doing this video series is a combination of experiences that I've had over the last few months where I'm seeing guys in our industry, the martial arts industry, who are looking for different avenues, different ways of building what they do, but seem pretty lost in a sea of information, some of it being misinformation, some of it being marketing. So I decided to write some notes, which became a video idea, which has become an idea indeed for a whole series and potentially beyond that. Firstly, I'm going to make a definition of what a lifestyle business is. I believe that there are largely two types of business. One is the corporate style business, where the idea is to grow and grow your business. And for whatever reasons you have at the start, they tend to change. You will build, grow, move in different directions. But what I've found, and I've been involved in this, is that style business quite often loses a connection with why you started that business in the first place and requires a huge amount of attention. Classically, you end up, as I put it, sitting in the biggest chair in the prison. A lifestyle business, by definition, is a business that is designed to support a particular lifestyle. One of the differences between a lifestyle business and typical business is you often aim at an economic ceiling. Whether you do or you don't with this is not really that relevant to the series, but I am going to delve into this later on in the video. Throughout this video series, I'm going to be referring to books that I've read, talks that I've listened to, videos that I've watched. The first one is a book called Start With Why by a guy called Simon Sinek. He did quite a famous TED talk, and I'm going to post a link to that with this video. You should watch that. If you're interested in business, you should absolutely watch that video. Now, his concept is that people don't buy into what you do, they buy into why you do it. However, I'm going to spin this a little. And the first and most important principle that's going to permutate right the way through this series is why you do this. If you're running a business, the foundation principle of why you're running a business should dictate to a large degree what you do on from there. I'm going to explain this in a little bit more detail as we go, but this is a foundation principle. Why are you doing this? So let's dig right in. Why are you doing this? Whatever your business is, whether it be in the martial arts industry like I'm in, whether it's a marketing business, whether it's a promotional business, whether you produce something, make something, do something, whatever that business is, what's the reason you're running a business? That's the first question. Whilst businesses start in a variety of different ways, largely they're due to two main factors. One is having an interest in a subject or a working knowledge of a subject. And then the other one is where you have been doing an, an activity or an economic activity for some time in a different capacity and then decide to take that knowledge and expertise and start a business based on it. I'm going to make the example of the martial arts industry or martial arts business, and I'm going to take the typical gym owner. This is very, very common in our industry. So I'm going to give you the two scenarios. Two people both get to a coaching standard. Person A gets to a coaching standard. He's teaching at the gym that he's maybe trained at for a lot of years and then decides that he would like to have his own group. He starts his own group, whether it be within that gym or somewhere else. He builds it up, then thinks, hey, it would be cheaper or more convenient to have my own premises. So then he goes and hires a premises. He starts his classes there, gets the classes running there. And the next thing you know, he is running a business. That is a continuation of activities that accumulate in effectively running a business. This is very, very common. Second one is same, same situation. Guy gets to a certain teaching standard. And then, the, but he goes, right, I'm going to start my own business. 
doing this thing. So the difference is he's cut out the middle steps and made a decision to actually plan and start a business. They might effectively end up in the same place, but the way they got there is slightly different. In another field, it could be that somebody has a job, say doing graphic design for another company, and then he decides to split from the company that he works for as an employee and starts his own business doing largely the same thing. That's another very typical scenario of how people start businesses. What I'm going to argue is that all of these don't start with the right why. Now, the reason I say this is because through my experience over the last 15 to 20 years working in a variety of different industries, but spending a lot of time in the martial arts industry, I have seen this go to various different um, levels of success, but I have also seen that the thing that a lot of the people lacked who have ended up in these situations was what you would call a why right at the start. So I'm going to explain that in the next bit. The why that I'm talking about isn't why people turn up to your business. It's not quite the same as Simon Sinek's. The why I'm talking about is why are you doing this and why are you choosing this over something else? And then the what is what are you looking to achieve by doing this? The answers quite often seem pretty obvious at the start, but as you go further on in your business, you'll quite often find that those answers aren't quite. Quite often, an economic activity, something with economic activity, a class, a personal training session, the sale of some goods, something like that, starts to become the reason you are doing something. And that is where the problems really start and from there, the, the issue then becomes, let's make a new plan, let's do this, let's... Then you get into what I would call the economy of more. To summarize, the why you're doing something, the why you do your lifestyle business, is far more important than any other question that you could ask yourself. If you can actually look at what you do on a day-to-day -day level and say, I'm going to enjoy that and I will feel fulfilled at the end of it, then you are on a very, very good trajectory. If you're not considering what you're doing on a day-to-day -day level or where that leads you to, then perhaps you need to rethink it. It's never too late to change trajectory and consider these whys. And I certainly shook up my ideas after six or seven years in business. I'm going to leave you with what my nightmare scenario would be. Whilst everybody on the outside would imagine I was hugely successful, sitting in the biggest chair in the, at the top of the building, telling my minions what to do with their time, having driven there in my super super sports car from eight till nine in the morning to make sure to tell my secretary to hold my calls to spend 12 hours having meetings and talking to executives to move things forward to plow on and then to leave leave the office somewhere between seven and eight maybe i've had a nice lunch but go home in my sports car to my big house at the end of it and spend eight to 12 hours a day in that situation, to me would not be a success. And whilst on the outside, many people would deem me being a highly successful person, if I was hugely miserable during a major part of that time, I would not deem that to be success in a lifestyle business. Indeed, most people would look at that and go, that isn't a lifestyle business and they would be right. If you enjoy 
most of what you do in any given day and have a good idea of what it is you're wanting to be doing in any given day, then I think you're on a good trajectory. If you can mold what you do in your economic activity to support something that largely you want to do in your life, that is the foundation for a success in a lifestyle business. In the coming weeks in this video series, I'm going to look at steps which have helped me attain the type of success that I wanted in my lifestyle business and how that they can work for you too. I'm not promising to make you a millionaire. In fact, some of the business activities that I look at would probably never make people a millionaire. But what they will make you is extremely happy in your day-to-day -day life and economic activity.